I'm currently based in Queensland, but I'm very fortunate that I've um, been doing work right around Australia. Um, I'm a very proud Brisbane resident and uh, really enjoy our subtropical climate, um, but regularly attend various events in Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, living in Brisbane has been great because it's really made me understand not just a subtropical climate, but uh, what it's like to be really cold uh, for a month or two in winter, but the challenges of how you stay cool when it's humid and when it's also quite hot. So um, living in Brisbane I think is a really good uh, snapshot of a whole lot of weather extremes that perhaps exist around Australia. This is a home I built for my family almost 20 years ago now and it's uh, stood the test of time reasonably well as both an energy efficient home and as a good example of a healthy and sustainable home. Today it's the middle of winter and you can see how the front facade of the house which faces north is uh, benefiting from that northern sunlight and the heat and the way that the eaves have been designed is that in summer that whole facade is perfectly shaded. Another unique thing about this house is the water and the guttering system. There are no conventional um, gutters or downpipes on this house. The house was designed so that the water is all harvested but it flows off the roof into urns placed around the property and they're plumbed into a water tank. That water tank is pumped up to a, a water tank at the back and then gravity fed into the home. The home is conceived as a modern old day Queenslander taking some of the benefits of a classic old Queenslander design and taking modern materials and using them very efficiently. So you'll notice that the timber work is exposed and it's what we call in, here in Queensland lightweight construction. And as you go further north, this type of construction is fantastic for tropical and subtropical environments. The concept of the home was simply to ensure that all of the bedrooms and the living areas faced north and the wonderful outlook that we have towards the creek. And at the back of the house, it's all zoned with laundries, bathrooms, and so, and you may notice that you can actually look through the house because the house is designed as one room wide and there are skylights and ventilation points so that each room has its own ventilation system. It was a very cost effective home to build because we limited the number of materials we used and by just primarily using plywood, LVL laminated veneer lumber and colour bond roof sheeting we had a very simple uh, plan design. This was prefabricated at the Construction Training Centre here at Salisbury using apprentice labour. This house is located uh, right on the allowable side set setback. So what we did is we developed a thermosiphon wall and there's actually a gap there and an air gap that goes up and vents at the top of this roof. So there's, when the roof sheeting heats up, it draws the air up and vents on the other side of the master bedroom. And this has been a great passive design principle to help keep the master bedroom cool in summer. The projects I'm most proud of are the ones that I've done for myself and for my family because the, those projects have really made me question everything I do in all my projects. So if it's not good enough for me, why is it good enough for somebody else? So building for myself has made me realise how hard it is for some people to make decisions on different materials, purely from an environmental point of view. Why spend money on a solar system when you don't have the money to do it, but you can plan for it. So when I built my own home, I didn't have enough money to put solar cells on the roof at that time, but I did plan for it to make sure that it would happen further down the track. I didn't have enough money to use all the environmental materials that I would have liked, 
but I did design things so that I minimised the impact of those materials as best as I could within my budget. So it became a really valuable process in understanding what meaningful sustainable design was all about and it's given me a great basis to pass that knowledge on to future clients. Thank you.